Hello everyone! Have you ever wondered about Maxpedition's product names? I find them quite interesting because they are based on many different sources. Let's take this for example. Whoever named this product the cocoon pouch must have thought of Mother Nature's invention for protecting the pupa of some insects. The name of this pouch is also derived from nature, the R7 razor shell. Other products allude to ancient mythology, like the Maxpedition Proteus, Greek mythology. Or this one, the Maxpedition Janus, Roman mythology. And sometimes Maxpedition even has a sense of humor. Why else would you name this man purse Neat Freak? But some Maxpedition product names are as uninspired as most German product names. 4x6 notebook cover. The name lets you exactly know what to expect. It even tells you the size. Very German. But now for these two pouches. Anemone and Barnacle. We are back in nature. And can you smell the smell of flowering plants? And can you feel the breath of the ocean? Anemone and Barnacle. That's poetry. That's almost like Romeo and Juliet, Bonnie and Clyde, Angelina and Brad, Thelma and Louise, Sailor and Lula, Siegfried and Roy, John McLean and Holly Gennaro. Sorry, I got carried away for a moment. Obviously both pouches are very similar and share some features. Both are 4.5 inches high and 3.5 inches wide. The anemone is one inch thicker though. It's 2.5 inches thick. The barnacle is only 1.5 inches thick. I will not repeat all the characteristics of Maxpedition's fabric stitching and all that jazz. I guess you know all that by now. Let's start with the back. Both pouches come with two rows of Molly compatible webbing. In order to attach these pouches to other pieces of gear, you need Maxpedition's 3-inch tack ties or, which I prefer, these Blackhawk speed clips. I prefer the speed clips over the tack ties because they live up to their name. They allow for more convenient and faster attaching and detaching of your Molly items. Another problem with the tack ties is that the ends start to unravel after a while. Too bad Maxpedition doesn't provide a belt loop on the back. I wish they had designed the back of these pouches similar to the back of the M2 waste pack. The M2 waste pack comes with a belt loop plus webbing. That's a really versatile design, but as you can see, the M2 is significantly larger than these two pouches. So, if you want to carry the anemone or the barnacle on your belt, you need to attach two 3-inch tack ties and use them as belt loops. Now for the main compartment. It's secured by a double zipper on both pouches. And if we look into the main compartment, we see that both anemone and barnacle are absolutely identical. So let's get rid of barnacle for a moment. The main compartment has an accordion divider, which is made of a soft felt material in order to protect scratchable surfaces. So let's check this out. There is enough room for a cell phone or maybe an iPod Classic or a Garmin GPS device or even a small digital camera. The front portion of the accordion comes with two tiny sleeve pockets. One here and the other one here. And that's what I like about Maxpedition. Even in this very limited space, 
Maxpedition still offers options to organize your stuff. So let's put some more items in here. Maybe a few business cards. A small knife. And a flashlight. And everything fits quite nicely. It's still very easy to close and open the pouch. Now for the differences between the two pouches. Obviously the front pocket is more sophisticated on the anemone. The barnacle comes with a flat sleeve pocket on the front, which is secured by a simple rectangular flap with velcro closure. Now look at the anemone. The front pouch is secured with a small but heavy duty side release buckle. This elastic strap here and this strap help to cinch down the front pouch. This strap also allows you to adjust the height to some extent. Now look at this tongue-shaped flap. You could even use this front pouch as a holster for a small radio. Like so. Of course the whole thing is getting a bit bulky now, but it's quite amazing what this little pouch is capable of. Another feature that can be easily overlooked are these two pen holders, one on each side. Is there anything else to say about these pouches? I don't think so. They are very useful utility pouches that can be used as an EDC pouch, accessory pouch, cell phone holder, camera case, you name it. Now you can decide for yourself whether or not you need the more sophisticated front pouch of the anemone or if you rather prefer the simple and slim design of the barnacle. I usually attach these pouches to my Maxpedition Jumbo Versapack. Thanks for watching, bye bye!